violating your winning strategy violating your winning strategy is the reason why great people fail violating your winning strategy either the strategy God gave you or the strategy that was built after years of discipline sacrifice and investment show me a man who violates your winning strategy you will not last again this is true for ministry this is true for business this is true for every area in life violating your winning strategy either divinely inspired strategy or strategy that is a composite of many years of pain sacrifice and wisdom can i tell you this listen exploits and victory is always strategy dependent exploits and victory is always strategy dependent see every home that is excelling today wonderful children great spouse there is a strategy the moment they begin to violate the strategy there will be problem see a student who is excelling academically returning back with great results there is a strategy that keeps them producing that result are we together see a bank a restaurant even a church in business we call it quality control systems so that you do not veer off to maintain excellence to maintain delivery hallelujah the question God is asking somebody now is have you kept your winning strategy when God calls a man into ministry there is a strategy God you remember what I taught you that it is the will of God plus the strategy to bring that will to pass that is equal to victory if the only thing you have is the will of God and you do not have a strategy given by God the way that we run koinonia is a strategy God gave it's not something that was just invented but there are aspects of running this ministry for instance that is a product of gleaning from the mind of intelligent people who have built organizations that have lasted no system fails when they respect their winning strategy leaders let me teach you this beware of people who come into your vision with their own strategy no if it is goliath you want to bring down don't assume he will fall by despair goliath is a warrior too you need to stay with god if it's jericho you want to bring down you need to get the strategy from god and can i tell you when god gives you a strategy even when you want to change it consult him there is no major decision that happens in this ministry no matter how intelligent it is that i will not pray about after all the data and everything is brought okay beautiful just give me some time i have to go to god father this is your vision this is your work this is what we have what do you have to say about it if god is silent i keep quiet until the day he speaks is someone learning now don't just celebrate success within your organization teach everybody who is part of your organization your organization can mean your home it can mean your church teach them why you win don't just allow them enjoy that you are winning please hear me teach your children why you win teach them why there is always money in that house teach them why the presence of god is always mighty in that house don't just allow people come and enjoy success and leave teach them why do we win in this ministry why do we win in this business why has god so elevated this vision if you teach them they will preserve it if you don't they will lose it especially when you are not there are we together so you have children listen to my message redefining inheritance there are many children whose parents only made them enjoy success they did not teach them the winning strategy what did daddy do to become so wealthy even though he was not an educated man ah he was a man who understood honor 
Now you are giving your son all the millions and billions and not teaching him the law of honor. He will soon lose it. I told you that one of the major inheritance that parents give children is their mindset. The first thing to transfer is not money. Transfer your conviction. Violating their winning strategy. Every time we have our workers retreat in this ministry, among the many things we seek to do is to bring a, a new, a renewed orientation. Why has God lifted us this way? Why has God lifted his name in and through our lives this way? And then you help the people. Listen, let me give you a secret. Whether it's in church, whether it's in whatever it is, no matter how gifted people are, if they come to join your vision, let them learn why you win. Don't just absorb people to come with their ideas. If they are not humble to learn why you win, then they can enjoy it from afar. But they should not come and destroy what you are doing. This is what is called the doctrine of Balaam. He makes the presence of God fight you by doing something that compromises on your winning strategy. Let me show you one scripture. Perhaps God is speaking to someone. If the glory that was once upon your life has departed, go back and check. There was something God gave you as a unique formula for your victory. Man of God, there was something God gave you. You see Baba Deboye today in his old age. When he stands, no matter what stage he gets to, he must go down on his knees. It's not a ritual, it's a strategy. It may not apply to you, but it's his way of demonstrating before the nations that God sent me. I am not God myself. He will fly across the globe and you will still see him hold his instrument of worship. And he will kneel down, raise a song or two, worship his God and stand up and teach. And you will see that even in old age, he's fat and flourishing spreading across the globe and another ignorant young man you, there are people who have different there are others as soon as they come they turn to the back of their seats and kneel down and pray it's not a ritual there are strategies that god gives people there are things i do before the miracle service there are things i do before every service there are unique covenants that i have with god the moment you forget what keeps power on your head samson the secret to your strength is your hair are we together? David, the secret to your strength is your worship. This is important. It is not enough to understand the anointing God has given you. Understand what keeps it. Understand what builds it. Businessman, there are people who have become billionaires today, not because of some intelligence necessarily, but God gave them a secret. Every time they are about to go and bid for a contract, they may take a day, they will fast, they will roll, they will speak, sing worship. Others will just meet a man of God who speaks to them. That is their winning strategy. It's not a strategy for everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. If you see men go from grace to grass, they have violated the strategy God gave them to win. There is what we are doing as a ministry to the glory of God that keeps this ministry rising, you see. And for as long as we walk in keeping with it, for as long as we walk in keeping with it, there is no power in existence, even if it's after 30 years, that will bring this vision down. Let me show you a scripture. Second Chronicles 15, we'll read from verse 12 to 15. Is God helping someone? And they entered into a covenant. Watch this. They entered into what? A covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul. 13. That whatsoever, whosoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death. Whether small or great, whether man or woman. 14. And they swear unto the Lord with a loud voice and with shouting and with trumpets and with cornets. And all Judah rejoiced at the oath. It was beyond a desire. It was a covenant. 
for they had sworn with all their heart and sought him with their whole desire and the bible says he was found of them what was the result and the lord gave them rest round about i think it was god's servant bishop Oedipo who said when covenant university started on the day that they were going to do the commissioning the dedication that the lord told him to lie down flat on the ground and hand over that meeting with all due respect i will tell you something when we were preparing for the manchester conference usually we hold a meeting with the workers before the main meeting starts one of the things we did was as a workforce all of us got down on our knees and we handed over the conference to god you are the only one who can change the heart of men you are the only one who can heal you are the only one who can deliver it's a strategy god gave in all your ways acknowledge him so you will see an ordinary mother she may not have everything but she has a covenant with god god will tell her mama pray from 12 to 2 every day without fail that is your secret for as long as you do this you will never beg the woman may not know much but once it's 12 on the dot mama may be tired but she remembers that there is a winning strategy and she's praying she's done that for 10 years 20 years one day her once forgotten son now becomes a captain in industry and even when people take his name to Habalis, the Habalis will say you brought a wrong person and one day the mother will say come my son do you know why you are this great oh i just returned from harvard nonsense come let me show you something when you were born god told me you will be great and god said to make that prophecy come to pass there are families their their winning strategy is that they covenanted with god that any missionary that comes around any area maybe their village they must provide a room have you seen that kind of thing some of your parents did it and you may not know why the children today regardless how stubborn they are god still blesses them god is a covenant keeping god oh let me tell you the truth mm. hallelujah praise the name of the lord yes if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you fine the day i stop men from seeing the lord it's not that he will judge me it is that the covenant itself was designed to bring you down so if i see people boasting and bragging it's none of my business i know what protects the oil on my head if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you not every preacher may be comfortable talking like me and being so vulnerable like me and i respect it i don't know what covenant god gave them but as for me the nations must see jesus through my life and i'm not ashamed it has nothing to do with my reputation or my ego the results show that i'm not a fool for allowing the nation see jesus is someone learning i remember one great businessman a billionaire businessman we had the privilege of ministering in a conference together and then he was talking and we had an opportunity to just share and he was telling me he said listen there's a sacrifice there are things i do with god that translates to the things you see including unbelievers they have covenants that they keep do you know that every time you see greatness somebody is doing something somewhere that is not normal that is not natural hallelujah with all due respect i will tell you and i'm saying it sincerely i i say it with every sense of humility one of the secrets behind the mysterious blessing of god upon this ministry was a sacrifice something that happened years ago the lord gave me an instruction didn't have much he said to empty the account of this ministry zero zero naira when that happened of course it was a test it didn't reach seven days and god came through in a way and he had vowed that forever this ministry will never beg it's the truth is the truth hallelujah so there are people who do not behind please if there is anything you must learn today behind every sustainable result 
there are winning strategies don't think people just excel like that no 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 with all due respect i will tell you every time i have had the honor of meeting our father in the lord that the geo whether in his office here whether wherever i have almost always met him praying always met him praying he will sit down as old as that man is you will think he's weak and tired service is going on and he's in his office praying praying in tongues for a long time and afterwards he gets up and is ready to come out one declaration there is somebody here this and that and people say amen and you see people return with children as if they stole them and you'll be wondering thinking what happened can i tell you sincerely god honors covenants hallelujah i remember the time i emptied my account like empty everything because i love the lord i said lord this is for you no coercion no manipulation there is nothing that you give me that i will not give you don't just covet people's results there are winning strategies and if god tells you please make sure you keep it how can a global ministry like this be going on break can you imagine right now after the second week of december or thereabout we're having the last koinonia service and that's it go on break till january what if you don't come back <laughs> i'm just saying it is suicidal from from an honest standpoint no man of god does that kind of thing that god has helped you now you want to create sorrow for yourself again but if it's a strategy he gave until he changes it it will not stop how can a ministry this size and has never held this convention with literally millions of followers across the globe you must be a madman to not do that but that is the foolishness of obedience listen i'm speaking to someone you started a business with god and you vowed before god prosper me 50 percent goes for me 50 percent goes for the ministry you did it the first year you became a billionaire immediately now when the holy spirit come, mm, don't disturb me when i said that nigeria was all right okay and you see god respects you he will respect you even at the expense of your rising please go back and find out what is the secret behind any result you are seeing today if it was prayer keep praying if it was fasting keep fasting are we together violating their winning strategies there are things koinonia will always do there are things koinonia will never do never never when we were having the conference let me make reference to it again you can imagine such size of people and god comes to me while praying and he says, I want to make a statement. There is a, a negative narrative that they've had about the church. I want to correct that statement. And because of that, number one, you will not collect offering nor mention money all through the course of that conference. How do you pay the bills? You have no idea, ladies and gentlemen, how much was spent for that conference. You are wise. You use your mind. And then a workforce of over 2,000 people, you are to feed them also. Bless the people, return back. No talk of money, no nothing. Yes, sir. It is your work. This is the strategy. It was the violation of strategy that eventually led to the defeat of Israel, the death of Hophni and Phinehas. You know that now? A strategy was given to them to not choose just to use the fork and whatever meat comes out they should take it with contentment but the children said no no way they will use their the thing and push and look for something that is is sumptuous and god was saying i'm warning you now they kept bringing the thing out till they went to die and their father saw them they were violating strategies but because of his heart don't love people too much to leave them die there are times that your compassion can be used by the devil to destroy people. You know how God helped you to stand 
when the people, especially the people around you, if they are violating the spiritual secrets that make for strength, love them, but correct them in love. That was the mistake of Eli. There would never have been a mention of Ichabod. He would have called those boys to say, listen, my dear sons, I'm a judge in Israel now for 30 something years, getting to 40. My secret with God was A, B, C, D. Why did God jump Eli's sons and went to Samuel? Because I'm sure God gave them a grace period and saw that these boys were not interested in repentance, conversion, nor his program. If you never believe that God collects the bishopric of people, you have not read your Bible well. Just because God used you yesterday, man of God, it doesn't mean he will use you tomorrow. No. Hallelujah. Your winning strategy. For someone, your life was built on sacrifice. Don't stop it. Because you have now become great. Don't stop it. Your life was built on prayer. Your life was built on the word. There are some of you, you have a covenant with God. Every time it is two or three days to your birthday, you go for a retreat. Now that you are a big man, make sure people do not distract you. When it's your birthday, they will say, um, they slaughtered chicken or cow. Will you die if you don't eat it? They should eat it on your behalf with love. After you meet with God, or they should, re they should refrigerate it for you. You will eat it after the retreat. You go back to your God and your maker. Lord, I am here again. I started meeting with you when I was 18 years. I am now 50 years. And God will say, you are still coming. Yes, sir. I'm still here. I have given you global visibility. You are still here. Yes, sir. And God says, let's go to the next level. Listen to me. If you don't keep this principle, there are consecrations and covenants that protect anointings. And protect impact every time you see glory turning to shame somebody has left his covenant with God and men can distract you you can forget your winning formula John G Lake was crying a. A. Allen amen was crying for the healing anointing he said God how, what does it take to carry the healing anointing he went inside the room, he looked at his wife and said, Honey, you will not see me again for the next one week. Don't feel bad. I, I will not come out until God speaks to me. He entered and shut the door and prayed and cried. And God gave him seven secrets. He said, If you keep these secrets, there is no sickness you will not heal. He came out rejoicing and told his wife, I found it. When you see men do the things that they do, I remember, truthfully speaking, those days when I would see men of God, pack stadiums, pack meetings, it, it looked to me as if, I said, how do, it, how do these guys get people to even hear them? I mean, in my naive, do, is it publicity they use? What does it take for people to come and crowd themselves like this? Abba! Until I found out that the secret behind every glory bar are many covenants and many consecrations there is someone god is calling you today and saying there was something you did that you never lacked anytime your money is about to finish god will wake somebody but now you are literally begging you are a shadow of your yesterday return back to your covenants there is a winning secret god gave you I'm telling you this as a prophetic word. God is saying return back. Return back to the covenants. There are people who were once powerful. They are no longer powerful. No. Zero power. It's gone. Worship people. Some of you, the secret behind your receiving songs was to lock yourself at least a few minutes a few hours in a week that's your time with god you carry your keyboard or your your guitar and you lie down before the lord and cry make sure as god lifts you you don't just say i'm a popular person you will write a song that is so nice and nobody will listen to it because the presence factor is missing 
who am I speaking to? Someone needs to repent. God is showing you this is why your glory has gone down. This is why your glory has gone down. This is why the glory of your ministry has gone down. This is why your impact has gone down. Once the presence factor is missing, once the winning formula is missing, There are things you must keep doing to keep seeing the glory. There are things you must keep doing to keep seeing the glory. Hallelujah. At the beginning of every year, without fail, there are things I do. There are things I do by the Spirit. There are things I do by the spirit maybe there are only a few times I enter every new year from an old year praying in tongues is tongues that transits from 12 to that new year there are if for any reason I have missed it maybe it's not once maybe I was in a meeting until the next year came new year 31st to first no you can't be playing as soon as that year lands I'm commanding January already I'm commanding February because in this ministry by 6 31st of December 6 p.m. on the dot West African time the prophetic word for the next year comes so once we go on break as we are enjoying break me I'm not doing break I'm waiting before God to say what is the the, the, the leading for the next year and before the 30th or 28th to 30th, there must be. Now, there are people who don't believe in prophetic words. That's all right. I respect whatever revelation. But this is how God has guided us. When he said it was a year of open doors this year, we believed him. And the results have spoken for themselves. Hallelujah. It's in this kind of atmosphere. I lie down in his presence. Shabbat katabata. Lord, there are millions of people depending on this direction. What are you saying, oh God? What are you saying, oh God? Turn the plates upside down. You are signing your register for the relevance of the next season. Just because you are relevant now, I tell you, believe this, does not mean you will remain relevant. I have seen people with all humility rise at the cutting edge of ministry, at the cutting edge of business. You would never imagine, with all due respect, there are musicians today, worshippers today. You almost don't know where they are again. Please, everybody, go back and ask the Lord what is the secret behind the glory that you have placed on my life? There are many men of God here. Don't just be allowing people to clap for you and say, ah, you are a powerful man of God. You are joking. You are just two years in ministry and you are bragging. You don't know the challenges and the, and the mountains. Even those who are standing, they were shaken. Talk less of you that is already shaking without a wind. Take away that pride and sit down and say, Lord, what is the formula you are giving me? There is a covenant I have with God. It is impossible for me to lack what to preach on Sunday. It's not just because of study. I tell you this. It is a covenant with God. There are things I do with God. What he wants the people to hear on Sunday must be there on time. If you think it is easy, go and be preparing six messages every week. You will be tired one day. You will preach everything you know and you will be tired. But not when you are standing on this i have a covenant with god provided i am standing doing ministry i will never ever break down maybe when i am done i can sit down and rest but when that anointing is on me i can stand and preach till the next day if i were pretending this bar i would have died by now believe me when you see extraordinary results I'm teaching you something. There is a covenant with God 
that this ministry will never beg and never borrow till Jesus comes. This is not about prosperity. Oh, this. No, 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 no. Is someone learning? In one minute, I'd like you to raise a cry from heaven and say, Father, grace upon my life. Where have I thrown away my winning formula? You gave it to me in the secret. This is what made me a millionaire. You gave it to me in the secret and I conquered the financial realm. Right now, my world is shaking. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. Sake Parakosiata. Where you have violated your winning strategy. Behind the exploits of men in the spirit. Behind the exploits of men in destiny. There are secrets. There are covenants. Take a minute to pray. Skata prakata balakata bos. Skada balanta paka sopra kata balakos yata. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Never forget this secret. If you do not want to answer the name Ikabod in your lifetime, find out the secrets behind your glory and protect it sit down number five